Hello! In this video, we will talk about properties of exponents and these are some properties that will allow us to simplify expressions involving powers. The first one is the product rule and it is b to the m's power times b to the n's power equals b to the power of m plus n. So, when multiplying two expressions that have the same base, we just have to add the exponents. For example, x to the second power times x to the fourth power equals x to the power of 2 plus 4 and this makes x to the sixth power. Now, to understand why we add the exponents, we can write x squared as x times x and x to the fourth power as x times x times x times x. And now here we have a product of six x's, then we can write this product as x to the sixth power. The next property is the quotient rule. And this is b to the m's power divided by b to the n's power equals b to the power of m minus n. So, when we divide two expressions that have the same base, we need to subtract the exponents. For example, x to the seventh power over x squared equals x to the power of seven minus two and this makes x to the fifth power. Now, to understand why we subtract the exponents, we can write x to the seventh power as a product of seven x's. And in the denominator, x squared is x times x. And now if we simplify this fraction by cancelling two x's from the numerator and from the denominator, now we will have a product of five x's which we can write as x to the fifth power. The next property is the zero exponent rule. b to the zero power equals one. In this property, b cannot be zero, so any non-zero number raised to the zero power equals one. For example, x to the zero power equals one. Now, to understand why this exponential expression equals one, let's look into the following example. Let's say we have x to the fourth power divided by x to the fourth power. To simplify this expression, according to the quotient rule, we need to subtract the exponents. So then we will have x to the power of four minus four, which equals x to the zero power. So as you see, we can get a zero exponent when in a quotient the exponents are the same. Now let's write x to the fourth power over x to the fourth power one more time. So we have a fraction and in this fraction we divide a quantity by the same quantity. Then the result has to be one because these two quantities are the same. So on one hand x to the fourth power over x to the fourth power is x to the zero power but on the other hand, x to the fourth power over x to the fourth power is one. So then we will write that x to the zero power equals one. The next property is the negative exponent rule. b to the negative n's power equals one over b to the positive n. So if an expression has a negative exponent, we take this expression and we move it down to the denominator and then this exponent becomes positive. For example, x to the negative fourth power equals one over x to the positive four. Now to understand how this works, let's look into the following example. Let's say that we have x to the second power over x to the sixth power. According to the quotient rule, we need to subtract the exponents, so we will have x to the power of two minus six. This will be equal to x to the negative four. 
So we got a negative exponent because the exponent in the numerator was less than the exponent in the denominator. Now let's write this expression one more time. And now we will write x squared as a product of two x's and x to the sixth power as a product of six x's. Then if we cancel two x's from the numerator and two x's from the denominator, in the denominator we will have a product of four x's. Then we can write this as one over x to the fourth power. So now as you see on one hand x to the second power over x to the sixth power equals x to the negative four, but on the other hand it equals one over x to the fourth power. Then we can write that x to the negative four equals one over x to the positive fourth power. Next is the negative exponent in the denominator rule. One over b to the negative n equals b to the positive n. So if we have a negative exponent in the numerator, we move this expression to the denominator and the exponent becomes positive. But if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, we move this expression to the numerator and the exponent becomes positive. For example, one over x to the negative fifth power equals x to the positive fifth power. The next rule is the power rule. b to the m's power raised to the n's power equals b to the power of m n. So when an exponential expression is raised to another exponent, these two exponents will be multiplied. For example, x to the fourth power raised to the third power equals x to the twelfth power. So we multiply the exponents and that is because x to the fourth power raised to the third power can be written as x to the fourth power times another x to the fourth power and times another x to the fourth power. Then according to the power rule, if we add these exponents, we will get x to the twelfth power. The next rule is the product to power rule. a b to the nth power equals a to the nth power times b to the nth power. So if inside the parentheses we have a product, then each factor has to be raised to this exponent. For example, let's say we have six x to the second power. Inside the parentheses we have a product of six and x. Then first we will raise six to the second power and we will get thirty-six and then x to the second power. And again this is because six x to the second power is six x times another six x. Then six times six is thirty-six and x times x is x squared. Another example, two x cubed y to the fourth power all raised to the third power. Inside the parentheses we have a product of two x cubed and y to the fourth power. Each of these factors has to be raised to the third power. Two cubed equals eight. When we raise x cubed, to the third power, according to the power rule, we need to multiply the exponents. So three times three is nine, and we will have x to the ninth power. And y to the fourth power raised to the third power will be y to the twelfth power. The next rule is the quotient to power rule. a over b to the nth power equals a to the nth power over b to the nth power. So if a fraction is raised to an exponent, we need to raise both the numerator and the denominator to this exponent. For example, x over four squared equals x squared over four squared, that makes 16. 
we can also write x over 4 to the second power as x over 4 times another x over 4. And to multiply these two fractions, first we will multiply the numerators and x times x is x squared. Then we will multiply the denominators and 4 times 4 is 16. And now the last rule is the quotient to a negative power rule. a over b raised to the negative n equals b over a to the positive n. So if a fraction is raised to a negative exponent, if we flip that fraction, the exponent will become positive. For example, x over 5 to the negative 2 equals 5 over x to the positive 2. Then 5 squared is 25 and in the denominator we will have x squared. And to better understand this rule, let's write x over 5 to the negative 2 one more time. And according to the previous rule, we need to raise x to the negative 2 and then 5 to the negative 2. Then if in the numerator we have a negative exponent, we need to move this expression down and this exponent will become positive. And if in the denominator we have an expression with a negative exponent, we need to move this expression to the numerator and this exponent will become positive. So then we will move 5 to the numerator and x to the denominator. And this will be equal to 25 over x squared. So now we had all the rules and thank you for watching.